the guys that come here often, they know the routine, they know where to go, they know what to do. Guys like me that don't come here very often, we're like lost little puppy dogs. Good morning, afternoon. It's almost 12 o'clock. We uh, just got loaded over here at John Deere. We finally got done loading. This place is kind of a madhouse. You look straight ahead, that's what we got. Something looks like that. We got two stops. Plus we got tires that look like those right there, but not quite as big. One of the uh, problems, issues, situations, whatever you want to call it. Come to a place like this that's super busy. The guys that come here often, they know the routine, they know where to go, they know what to do. Guys like me that don't come here very often, like lost little puppy dogs and then the people in the office don't help much a guy got frustrated because I didn't write my load number on a piece of paperwork and I bit my tongue I didn't say anything but I wanted to tell him that there is no place on the paperwork to write my load number. And he was like, well, just write it at the top. Well, I've said this before. I can only do what I'm told. I can't read minds. I'm pretty good at what I do, but I can't read minds. 300 feet, turn left onto 13th Street. Left onto 13th Street. So anyway. Combine head. See the securement points. The uh, only drawback with these is it takes a little bit more energy to chain it down. Just not throwing straps. Tires. Uh, it's been a long time since I hauled tires, but. When I do haul tires, I like to have one strap pulling this way and then the other strap pulling that way. So you'll notice that I got one buckle on this, or one winch on this side, and then on that side. It's a nice little rest area. Same thing over here. So these tires, Right here, those tires and that crate is the first stop, and then that big combine head 
in that crate the second time. Since it's uh, starting to get a little cool out, we're gonna turn the heater on in the truck. Summertime, I usually turn the heater off inside the cab because it makes the air conditioner work better. So we're gonna turn the valves back on. Oh, so these two valves right here control the heater. While we're under here, we'll look around, see what things look like. Look pretty good. On this side, let's go over here. Our new air governor has been working great. That looks good. Still got a little bit of an oil leak right by the uh, oil pressure sending unit. Quick. Oil looks good. So good on there. Check power steering. Power steering looks good. Uh, got one other thing coolant. Check the coolant. See that right around there? We might need to get a new cap. The coolant level looks good. I can see it, so that's good. But that might be for a bad radiator cap. The other thing I wanted to fix while I'm up here is this. This flop was flopping around. And that little doodad actually came loose right there. Let me see if I can reach over and check this one. There we go. There we go. This uh, hose was flopping around when I was using the wipers. Granite City, Illinois, to get loaded. Attention, a new important message has arrived. I got a new message. And uh, man, there's a lot of trucks here. So we're probably gonna be here for a while. I ain't never seen this many trucks here. We're at the end. We followed this black truck right here. And I'm not too sure who's following who, but they got a lot of trucks in line. All right, we're gonna end today like we started today. That's walking Bailey. Uh, we're parked right there. We loaded skidded coils, but uh, it took about five, six hours to get loaded. So kind of threw everything off. I planned on trying to get all the way over to Louisville tonight, but 
I just kind of ran out of energy. So we're uh, going to park tonight, take a shower. We got to get a uh, we got to get a truck inspection tomorrow. So I want to get the truck washed. There's a truck wash about 20 miles from here. So we'll wake up in the morning, do it again. But yeah, that delay kind of messed me up. So we're just waiting for Bailey to do her stuff. And we'll call it quits. Thanks for watching.